I saw the nastiest comment. It said that Cody Garbrandt does not want to fight Sean O'Malley, and that's why he's going to 125 pounds. Now, the reason I say it's a nasty comment, we would never know if that was true, would we? Cody Garbrandt does not appear as the guy who backs down from anybody. As a matter of fact, as viewers, we have witnessed Cody Garbrandt attempt to get into two street fights. I am not here to boast or make light of street fights. I'm just sharing with you that he tried to get in two of them. He was very sincere and cameras were there. One was against Conor McGregor and one was against Peter Yawn. Between them, I believe they have five world championships. Cody doesn't really seem like the bullying type. Can we at least come to that conclusion? But let's say he is. Not the bully part. Let's say he's afraid to fight Sugar Sean. Do you blame him? Do you blame him? But because you got to understand what he's up against. Hey, Cody, here's a fight against a young kid who wants to fight you. Now, I don't know that I buy into the narrative that Cody's going to sit back and go, well, you know, he's he's got some reach on me and he's got a pretty good record. I don't think Cody's going to do any of that. Cody's just going to look at what's behind door two. What would you guys do? What would you do if you, Sugar Sean wants to fight you. He's calling you out. You're a man of pride. You have to go answer call outs. You happen to be in the business where it's very important that you answer a call out. Behind door number two sits a world title opportunity. A guaranteed main events, points, new weight class, right in, 12 pounds of gold, your whole life stream, something you've already accomplished at 135. Something very few guys ever get an opportunity to do in two different weight class, let alone only one guy has ever done it successfully, which is Henry Cejudo. I mean, look at your options. Do you always have to grab your balls and be that guy? I mean, it's not as though he's taking an easy night. That's why I'm saying it's unfair. That's why I'm saying it's a very nasty line. It puts Cody in this very nasty position. Does he go after the call out of Sean or does he go after a world title opportunity? Figueredo, who did not call him out, who has not been rude to him, who he's got absolutely no heat with. Is there even a question here? Any of you that are saying Sean would not make for very good managers in this sport. You need to take the biggest opportunity. And yes, grudges come along very often. And yes, call-outs come. And yeah, you got to be a man about this within the space of the unified rules. You've got to stand your ground and answer those call-outs. I understand all of those things. Hey, Cody, I want to fight you. Did that seem very hard, guys? Now you say, say it back to me. Go ahead, say it. Say, hey, Cody, I want to fight you. Vince, say, Cody, I want to fight you. Go ahead. Cody, I want to fight you. Did any of that seem very hard? Now juxtapose that against getting a world title fight against the world champion in a different weight class that you've yet to conquer and you would like to. You see the problem here? One is very easy to get. One is very hard to get. So Cody made his choice. It's just a very nasty thing. A guy who we have seen win world championship, who has fought in absolutely everybody, including his own teammate. What could ever be harder to do than to fight your own teammate? Who's tried to get into fights with both Conor McGregor and Peter Yawn, which were caught on tape and it is undeniable. You're now going to tell me he's scared to do something. I mean, what childish playground antics. But you know what? The playground applies even to the pros. I get it full well. I'm just sharing with you, if I'm in Cody's spot, yeah, I'm going I'm to, somebody calls me out, I'm going to have to deal with that. That's true. But if you can only do one thing at one time, you got to take the bigger opportunity, which is what he did.